A man builds a bomb shelter in his house to hide from a nuclear bomb. But as soon as the two men walk in, the house outside is flattened by shells. Thinking that a nuclear war is really coming, the man quickly closes the door of the shelter and sets a timer sweep for 35 years. Being a scientist, the man thought that he could only go out after 35 years without being harmed by the radiation. The wife was instantly stunned when she heard this, unaware that the explosion that just happened was just a crashed airplane. But fortunately, the man has already prepared 35 years of living supplies, not only as adequate power supply facilities, but also built a large supermarket here. They didn't have to worry about living at all. And of course, a 58-inch color TV was not to be missed. Shortly after, his pregnant wife gave birth to a healthy son. The father teaches his son Adam every day and in his spare time, he teaches Adam how to box. His mother taught him dance and manners. Although the sun doesn't shine here, the family gets along well. On this day, to celebrate his son's 18th bar mitzvah, his father took out his long cherished baseball cards and gave them to him. Time rushed by, and before we knew it, our son Adam had become a 35-year-old boy, and the couple had aged considerably. But that night, while they were sleeping, there was a strange noise coming from outside the door. The couple went over to see that it was the door to the bomb shelter opening, and the two of them were so happy that they danced with joy. But for safety's sake, the father decided to go up there himself to investigate the situation. But as soon as he got on the elevator, he found his house in ruins. As soon as he arrived on the street, he was stunned by the scene before him. He realized that the human race had mutated, and people were actually eating garbage from the garbage cans on the side of the road. Father rushed back to the underground shelter and told the two of them that the humans outside had mutated. It's too dangerous. Don't go out. But as soon as he said that, his father fainted due to a heart attack. In order to buy medicine for his father, in order to find his wife, mother told Adam to hurry to the top. This man just came into the street and greeted people warmly by shaking their hands. But everyone looks at him like he's retarded. Then Adam went to the supermarket to do some shopping. But he realized that prices have skyrocketed. The money his mother gave him could only buy one piece of bubble gum. He had no choice but to go back to his parents for more money. It's his first time to go out and he gets lost very quickly. So he went to a baseball club and tried to sell the baseball card his father gave him for some money. But the owner realizes that Adam doesn't know what he's talking about and wants to buy a whole box of cards for only 50 bucks. Luckily, Eve saw this and said that a card like this could be worth for $100,000 nowadays. And so the two of them left with the cards. After a few days, Adam realized that Eve was a good person with a good heart. So he offered to give Eve a baseball card if she could help him find his wife. Then Eve took him to a nightclub. But I didn't expect Adam, who had been isolated for 35 years, to be so well-spoken and funny that he was soon talking to a girl. For some reason, Eve was very angry when she saw this. She was about to drive away when Adam rushed after her, wondering what he had done wrong. After they calmed down, Adam confessed his love to Eve. The girl just thought she was in love with the boy in front of her, but she didn't realize that the boy immediately offered to take her to live under the ground. When she heard this, Eve instantly frowned. She thought the boy Adam must be crazy, so she immediately called a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist asked Adam to come to his office to sit, but Adam mistakenly thought that the doctor was going to put him in jail, so he quickly escaped into the car and drove away. This makes Eve feel strange, so she drives to the hotel where Adam stayed before. Here she finds a box of baseball cards and household items from 35 years ago, as well as stock certificates purchased 35 years ago. She then realized that she seemed to have misjudged Adam, so she took her brother all the way to look for Adam. Just as the two were searching for Wu and preparing to go home, suddenly Eve saw a familiar figure passing by. She immediately got out of the car and ran, and the two of them hugged each other tightly. Then Adam took her to the underground. The parents were very happy to see that their son had brought back such a beautiful wife and immediately prepared a good meal to entertain them. Adam then sold his baseball cards and stocks that he had bought years ago and Adam became a multi-millionaire. They spend a lot of money to buy a large piece of land in order to let his parents quickly adapt to the life above. They also built a house exactly the same as the basement. His mother was happy to see the sunshine after a long time. Adam told his father that 35 years ago, there was no nuclear war, only an airplane crashed into our house. He thought a better life was waiting for them, but it wasn't long before he started measuring the size of the house. Did he want to build another bomb shelter? It's a real pain in the ass. See you in the next issue.